is on having talking in your classroom, but not have it be too loud. Verbalization is an important part of the learning process. If you think about it, there have been times that, I, I know for me, there have been times that I've been involved at a lecture or a conference, and the person presenting has said something that made sense to me. And I've wanted to turn to the person next to me and say, hey, I'm going to try that in my classroom. What a great idea. That's good, isn't it? And we'll nod to each other and just add a little bit of side talk. So it's important to recognize that the role that verbalization has, even if you're giving full group instruction. So keep that in mind, as long as it doesn't, as, as long as it's not distracting and as long as it's on task. It, it's not always negative. The children in my classroom, most of them are learning English, and so it is especially important that they get a lot of talk time. There's several things that I do in my classroom to make sure I don't end up with a headache at the end of the day. After I've explained the assignment, this is one of my favorites, and at the beginning of the year I will have to walk around with it, but I'll set the timer for anywhere from three to five minutes, and I'll tell the children, you've got three to five minutes of no talking. After ding, after you hear the buzzer, you may whisper. But right now, three, five minutes, no talking. The first few weeks of the school year, while the, while the timer's ticking, I'm walking around, glaring at the kids that talk, pointing at it. Don't you say, shh. Okay, that's, you talked three times during this no talking time. Go move your clip for not following my directions. I'm not going to ask you to do something two and three times, et cetera. But once the routine is established that I'm going to set the timer, I want five minutes of no talking, then I can go ahead and take attendance or do whatever, set the timer, and have five minutes of no talking with very little of my energy. One of the interesting things about that, too, is once the timer goes off, a lot of times the no talking will stick because the children either forget or they, they, they get engrossed in their work and they're enjoying working silently. One of the things that I make very clear, though, is after the timer goes off, you, you whisper. After the timer goes off, whisper voices. Just a reminder. Uh, and sometimes I'll say, do you all want me to set the timer if things are starting to get too loud? And a lot of times that will even uh, turn the, ratchet the volume down. Speaking of which, I like to use visual cues a lot. And some children that continuously talk loud, I talk, the, I talk about I have, a, I have a remote control on them. And I'm turning the volume down. And I'll do that the first few times. And it'll, it'll get giggles. And like, I'm turning the re remote control volume down on you, um, Adam. And um, then I can do that later on after they know what I'm talking about. I can just say, hey, Adam, and pretend like I'm pressing the volume button and that will work a lot of times. Another thing that I do is if there's one child that's talking particularly loud, I will call them up to my desk and say, all right, you're just going to sit here, and you're, you're just going to stand here and watch me work for a couple of minutes because you're talking too loudly. So you must just want to sit here and watch me, stand here and watch me work. And they will. Or if I'm doing reading group, you're going to come up here. Come on, you're going to sit. And worst case scenario, the kid gets some different reading strategies. But you just can come sit until you can lower your voice, and then I'll go on with whatever it is I'm doing, and then say, do you think you can go back and use a nice inside voice? Yes. Okay, go. And then send them back. That's another really good strategy for allowing there to be talk in your classroom, but not letting it get too loud for you. So in summary, use a timer. Make sure that they know to whisper after they, the buzzer goes off. Call up students that are too loud to, to uh, just, and most of the time it's just for two to five minutes. And then send them back when they can be quiet. And also use, not, use visual clues, whatever possible, to, uh, to save your voice and make it easy for you.